Hi guys, let's talk about perfection. Let's talk about what does it mean to be perfect in speaking English and does it actually exist? Does perfection exist? Does it support you? Or maybe it takes you far away from your desired outcome. So perfection, if you were to look into the dictionary of psychology, you will find that perfection means imposing unrealistic desired on, desires on oneself and expecting something that doesn't actually exist. It's totally subjective. There is no such thing as perfection because no matter how many times you're going to practice something, no matter how hard you're going to try, you will always look at it and you will always say, mm, I could have done that differently. I could have done that better. And that's what perfection actually does to you on everyday basis. Instead of allowing you to communicate, it makes you stop in your tracks. It makes you retrieve and wait for this moment when you're going to be perfect. And this moment will never ever come because perfection is just an opinion. It's somebody's opinion about how well we do something. So you will, we will never get there. You will never get there and I will never get there. So what does it mean to be actually perfect in speaking English? Well, it does not mean to pronounce, pronounce perfectly. Here we go. It doesn't mean to pronounce perfectly. It also doesn't mean uh, not to make any kind of mistakes. And it also doesn't mean to know every single word. None of these things actually matter in terms of perfection in speaking English. You know what matters? The fact that you can get your message across, the fact that you can communicate, the fact that you can have a conversation. That's what's important, guys. The perfect um, English speaking is actually about communication, is actually about having this meaningful um, exchange of sentences when you understand someone and somebody understands you. It doesn't mean that they're going to be looking at every single word that you pronounce. It, it's, it doesn't mean that anyone's going to be checking your grammar. What it means is that you will be communicating with someone and somebody is going to be focusing on the meaning that you want to share, on your intention, on what you actually want to say and who you're being in, the, in this conversation. These are the important points. Guys, the more you focus on how good or badly you can pronounce or kind of hit the grammar bits, uh, and the more stress you put on yourself every time it doesn't work just the way you thought you would want it to work, the less you are able to actually practice, the less you are able to have these conversations, the less you are able to develop yourself through practice. So forget about perfection and start being perfect just in communicating, just in getting your message across. It really doesn't matter if you make a mistake here and there, but what matters is the fact that you open your mouth and you start having a conversation. So start today, close your eyes, close your ears to any kind of mistakes that might happen and do your best for today. And tomorrow you will do another of your best and another of your best the day after that. This is going to allow you to have a conversation, to develop and shortly to speak English well enough that you believe that you can say anything to anyone at any point with whatever words that come to your mind. Just focus on imperfect action every day because it's always better than non-perfect action that you will never take and that will always put a lot of stress on you. So practice, make mistakes and enjoy your imperfect actions. Take care guys. Bye.